Hello everyone. I'm experimenting today with some metallic paints and this lady I just love. She has just got so much movement in her. So I'm going to approach her a little bit traditionally to start with. Then we're going to add all the metallics and the movement. So I'm just going to mix up a skin tone and um, we use a little bit of red some yellow ochre, a tiny touch of Prussian blue and add a bit more white to that mix a little bit of raw sienna Now I've already painted the background with a Payne's grey and a white. It's going to get quite dark in a minute and there's a bit of light on there too so let's just add the black brown into that and we can just soften that in to blend it. I think there's a bit of a shoe showing here, but no, there's, that's only the sole. And then I'm just going to add more white to that face mix. Because the white's hitting it quite a lot this side. And we can add the highlights afterwards. Right, considering that she was on the stage, the light is really actually quite nice. Just so lovely and elegant, as you can see. Let's just blend that a little bit. Like I said, a little bit more traditional than perhaps normally. A little bit of dark. Always darken that a little bit later as well. Just the black brown. Don't want too much shadow there. And a little bit of white, I think, whilst we're blending, just to keep that nice and light. I thought the grey would be quite a neutral colour to have on the background, and I may well add silver, but at the moment I'm a little bit undecided. A bit dark. So far, so good. You can always carry on working that a little bit later. She needs a bit better shape in her hand. She's she's holding that piece of material out, and all of that will actually make this work well. Just by concentrating on a few of those details, it needs to be whiter. And we can maybe make that shiny one later. I don't know. We'll make a decision in a while. Now I'm going to have some fun with the gels and the metallic paint and some bright colours. So I'm going to use this impasto gel and I'm hoping that the sparkly bits will show up even more because of using that. So what I'm going to do first of all is to dip it in to that gel and then maybe just put a little bit on. This will be see-through when it 
dry so I want to get the feel of how this is moving and it comes around sort of there and there's all these sort of flaky bits so I don't want to make sort of too much of it but that sort of comes like that and because this goes see-through I don't want to overdo the amount of paint that I put on it and that comes over there around there and there is that little bit there that can go in afterwards so just get sort of that swirling action as we do this okay that's enough for the moment now I'm going to use another palette knife and I'm going to go for the pink and the white and I'm going to mix it onto there. There's a little bit of blue that's got into that but that's fine. It just sort of sits on the bottom like that. And I've got some metallic pink and some normal pink. I'm just sort of hoping when this dries it will be beautiful and shiny and gorgeous. And that's wafting through like that. And that bit comes down there. Now that's sort of quite white there so let's just wipe that off and just go for a little bit of white and just mix that in now really you can't see what's going to happen until afterwards I'm just going to use this bit of a smaller And I'm just going to go for the metallic pink again, a little bit of the green, just swirl that in a little bit and then because we've got all these folds we can just put some of those in with the side of the palette knife. Maybe a little bit of that black because that will be a bit of a shadowy colour. It's quite dark there, isn't it? Well, we can always go back in if we need to anyway, so. What I don't want to do is to overwork this, which it would be very, very easy to do that. I think a bit of green there. Now do we need a see-through one? Mm, possibly. Let's put a little bit of that there. Because that will make it nice and shiny. And a little bit of the green. And a touch of white. That sort of comes to there. That a little bit comes out like that, that gets the movement. I think the thing to do at the moment is leave this to dry, then we can see roughly what it's going to look like. So not completely dry, but just enough that I can see if that's working to carry on with the rest of it. Well, I'm hope hopeful that this is going the way that I want it so I'm going to add some more of this gel and that's the pink bit here and there's green coming around here so this is just clear sea fill through gel at the moment I just hope it will give it that extra sparkle. Now, this does usually take quite a while to dry. So I'm keeping those floatsy flancy bits at the front. 
stiffer, bigger. And then the bits behind, they can just be a bit of a smoother gel. a lot of green that will go in that background bit there and this will stay wet for quite a while so we might as well just push it all on and that's reflecting quite a lot down here so I think that might be quite nice to have that very shiny with that gel. I'll do some more stuff into that later. I think I'm going to have to clean up my smaller palette knife and just go for these bits. That's it, I've got more control now. We can always shine them up later if we need to. That fan I will paint in. Well, this does look really strange, doesn't it, at this point? and textured on there. You lose quite a lot of the texture when this dries anyway. Right, so the next thing I am going to do is to go, I think, with all the metallic pinks. I'm going to use the smaller one and I've got a little bit of brilliant magenta, then a lot of metallic and a little bit of white. And we somehow picked up some green, but let's not worry about that. in a minute we can paint in the necklace later so there's quite a lot of <coughs> lovely texture going on with this let's wipe that off go squeeze in some more metallic pink right, so I hope this is lovely and sparkly when we um, to sort this out I'm just going to do that reflection too whilst that's on my mind. So, I'm not too scratchy, and let's actually go through it with this. Because I want it to look like a reflection. some more dark into that later but we can do that and keep touching green somehow that's quite 
bit white above there, so just a little bit of white. Okay, so is that all my pinks? I think there's a bit of pink behind that leg there. And now I'm just going to dip into the green and some white. And just get that lovely green shimmer from the lights. It's just, I think this is just a magnificent way of getting that atmosphere of all the lights and the shimmer and comes there I can sort of rub that a little bit into the background so it's broken it just adds to all that movement got that bit that side I think yeah there's a bit of green on her jumper and it was quite relaxing painting with a palette knife now the pink and the green I would just swirl it around bit more white and just slightly green down that side and just sort of adding it it's going to be loose you can't be anything else but loose doing it this way wipe that clean and I'm just going to use some of that black metallic and there's a little bit of dark in just there quite a lot of dark here just pop that on top and really we're not going to know if this works are we until it dries And it's starting, I think, to take shape. I'm, I'm happy. So I think now all I can do really is just leave that to dry because um, until it dries, we don't really know where we're going with that. Yeah, and that is coming on really, really nicely. It should dry as I want it to. Ah, uh, maybe it won't. But the thing is, we've had fun trying, haven't we? Just getting some of the texture. Don't want to mess around with it too much because I think it's looking good. Maybe a little bit of dark. Just flow there. So let's leave alone and see what happens. Couldn't be more pleased with um, how this has dried out with some of that grey background showing through um, where we had the clear impasto gel. And there's so much texture and mo movement. It is just exactly what I had wanted. And um, now I'm just going to try and do a few finishing touches uh, I'm gonna put a bit more on the face bangle that sort of thing just to see how much more I need to do because I really don't want to spoil it because I'm pleased with how this is looking so I'm just mixing up some skin tone some burnt umber some red 
with a little bit of raw sienna and just here it's quite dark I think I'll just go for a brown black on that. And I don't want to put a lot of feature, but I think maybe we could get that in like that. So we've just exaggerated the light a little bit and I don't want to go in for lots and lots of features. So I'm going to get a bit of a dark line here. And whilst we've still got that dark. a little bit darker. And adding a tiny bit of white to that mix. Just because she's got those pretty shoes on. And I think we make them pretty pink shoes, pretty metallic pink shoes. So that would sort of come around there. dark on in a minute and there's another shoe which is sort of in between here which we might not make clear I don't think that matters too much to be honest right she has a fan now what color are we going to do this fan I think we need to do it in that blue black So I really don't want to introduce another colour and there's a lot of green going on there so let's just squeeze a bit of that out and I could maybe add some white into it just to lighten it a little bit and let's get the shape of the fan there more of the blue the blue black around like that all the way up there that is white but white will not show up if we were to leave it as white and then a little bit of it it's here and that sort of makes sense of what she's holding and then she's got a little white bracelet now I think we're going to leave it white but I'm just going to have to make some dark shapes and I'm going to use the Prussian blue and the green and there's a lot of bangles actually and then this sort of dangly bracelet and you can just see the dark shapes so if we just do the dark bits And she's got one on the other hand as well. So we do the same thing there. Maybe add a bit of pink into that one as well as the green. And then some green for the shadow. That shadow underneath her fingers needs to be a little bit darker. And I'm going cautiously because I'm so pleased with how this is looking. I really don't want to mess it up. Now we've got a little bit of a dark shape there that really helps that. And that, that's a bit of shadow there. And that one I think we won't put in because I think that would just make it worse. 
Um, a lovely dark earring, so let's just go with our green. Now we're keeping the colours quite sensible and just This is just part of the hat. So I'm going to dip into my metallic green for that. And I'm going to put a few little bits of white in here so that um, it enhances. But I am very, very fearful of doing too much. Let's just do a little bit at a time. I'd like to get rid of that line there. It's a dark line on that one, so. Let's put the dark line on whilst we think about it. A little bit of shadow under that sleeve. Look. To the white. I'd like to sort of enhance the flow a little bit but I really don't want to overdo this and I think I'm going to dip into my metallic pink with the white and just get that little bit back in. Just love these metallic paints. I want a lot of that grey showing through, so we won't mess around with that too much. But that bit's gone see through here, and that's sort of defining the shape. So we just put a little bit of that back. That bit's fine on its own. And that comes right down. A bit of white on its own now. Um, I could go dark going up there, um, but I'm really, really loving this movement and my fear is that if I go and put too much in here I'm just going to wreck the whole thing. I can see a bit of dark there on the stuff that isn't metallic so that won't hurt to put that in. That bit of shadow there will be good. And there's probably a bit of shadow there. And I think, in all honesty, other than getting some dark into that fan, um, let's get some dark green into that I think I'm better leaving alone. So let's just get that shape. But yeah, I, I really like that and I don't want to spoil it. Um, sometimes when you experiment things don't go quite right but this has gone exactly as I've wanted it to. Um, I hope you have a go at doing this because it really is fun and thank you for watching. Thank you.